y'all! It's Lacey, the Catholic Icing Lady here, and today I want to share with you a printable Our Lady of Lourdes craft. It's a 3D diorama. You can print it in black and white or in color, and all you need to assemble it is just some scissors and tape. That's it. Now the really cool thing about this craft is it works just like a pop-up book. I already have three different Marys designed, Our Lady of Lourdes, Our Lady of Fatima, and Our Lady of Guadalupe. After your kids make these, they can be taped end to end to be displayed in a line or go around in a circle and sit up like a honeycomb. And when you're done, you can store them flat. The first thing you need to do is print your download at catholicicing.com. It prints on three pages in either black and white or color. Cut out around the outside rectangles to start with and be sure to leave the white flaps on the edges of the middle ground piece. Now you need to take each piece and fold it in half with the picture facing in. That's going to help you tremendously later. Now you need to cut out this middle section here. So the best way to do that is make a little tiny fold and give yourself a small snip with the scissors. That way you can put your scissors in the hole and just cut the middle section out of there. I like this technique a lot because it allows you to cut out a middle section without needing an X-Acto knife. Now you can just use that same cutting technique and take the middle section out of the foreground too. Now you're all done cutting. You've got three pieces. Your background, your middle ground, and your foreground. So you're going to take the middle piece and set it right on your background. You're going to line up one side and just use ordinary tape and just put two pieces, one on each corner, one at the top and one at the bottom. Now you're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. Line up the edges and tape at each corner. It's going to cause the back piece to bend a little more than the middle piece because the back piece is longer and that's what gives you that great three-dimensional look. Now take your foreground, which goes in the front, and fold the flaps that you've left on the edges back. This is going to give you something to tape on each side to hold this on the front. Once you fit it on the front, do just like you did with the middle piece and put some tape on each side. The reason why these two flaps are so genius is because they totally hide all the tape that you did before and none of the tape that you're doing right now is going to show it all, so it keeps all the tape in the back and you don't have to wait for any glue to dry. It's awesome. So what looks flat and boring is actually completely awesome. Kids absolutely love pop-up stuff like this, and the reason I love it is because they've made a really cool thing that can stand up on its own, but if I want to keep it, I can just fold it flat, stick it in a book, and pull it out again next year. This is the perfect craft for celebrating Our Lady of Lourdes Feast Day or St. Bernadette's Feast Day with your kids. And as always, I just hope that y'all are using these Catholic crafts and enjoying them and celebrating these feast days with your family. Thank you so much for your support of Catholic icing, and I just can't wait to see you guys next time.